All right, I want to bring in former Fed Governor uh, Wayne Angel. And Wayne, one of the arguments raised for, 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 for holding off, ironically, has been this refugee crisis in Europe and that Europe is so tight for money and, 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 and everything else that the last thing it needs is to be at a currency disadvantage or a financial disadvantage to the United States. Uh, it's yet the latest wrinkle in this argument, uh, what the Fed does or doesn't do. What do you make of that? And what do you think the Fed does look at to make its decision today? Well, I do not believe that Janet Yellen has the courage to do what she should do. Which is what? And to me, there's no doubt but what low interest rates are handicapping the consumer sector of the economy. Low interest rates aren't doing what people think that low interest rates do. So uh, I think it's time to get on with the business. I would like to see them do a rate change that would be noticeable. And 25 basis points, where, where are you going to find that? 50 basis points is what they should do. And then stand back and see what happens. Uh, th th that would be my suggestion. Okay, well, I, I don't think they'll take it, but it's possible. Uh, what do you guys think of that? I, I Half point height. I, I think Peter Bookvar, in his note this morning, made a really important point. QE ended last October. The S&P 500 is back where we were back last October. So it just underlines your point earlier that this market has been fueled almost entirely by monetary policy. And I agree. I don't think a quarter point does really much impact. But it's the anticipation of it. The markets will anticipate more. All right. Uh, Jamie Dimon is on the wires right now indicating that the Fed will, will not raise uh, rates. He doesn't think they will, JP. Uh, Morgan Chase CEO, uh, a, a lot of experts weighing in, some saying yes. Some Wayne, I'm just curious, Lou Dobbs, and it's good to see you, Wayne. Uh, the idea of a, a half, uh, you know, 50 basis points here, what happened to the communication strategy for this new Fed? They have not talked anything near that. They've not transmitted any kind of signal on that. Uh, in point of fact, one could argue that they have been very constrained in sending any signal in the weeks that are leading up to this moment right now for the Fed. Well, Lou, of course you're right. They haven't done that. And so I'm not anticipating they will do that. I was simply responding to the question, what should they do? Mm -hmm. And they should get interest rates for consumers up enough that, that, that it pays to save. It doesn't pay to save in this environment. Mm -hmm. And consequently, the slowdown in the economy and the low commodity prices are really being adversely affected by the Fed's wrong policy. Wayne, I'm curious, where do you think we'd be uh, with the economy and the stock market if not for this, this near decade of 0% of rates? Well, I think we would be about where we are now. I don't think that these low interest rates have meant that much. You don't think they created growth. a bubble? What? You don't think they created any bubble? No, I don't think there's much bubble out there. I'm not worried about that. All right. All right. Wayne, I want to thank you very, very much.